Hello there guys and welcome to our 44th C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial, uh, the topic is going to be structures. So we're just going to uh, basically create a structure and that's going to be pretty much our tutorial today. So you can get an insight on structures and in the future tutorial, the fourth tutorial, we're going to actually go ahead and access those um, struct members and uh, uh, do some particular things with them. So to waste no more time, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys didn't watch out my previous videos, go ahead and watch those as well. Um, they will give you a lot of, um, uh, they will give you a lot of, uh, basically, uh, a, a better understanding of the language so you can, be, so you can better understand the tutorial. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's start by including the IO shrimp. And let me also include string, the string library. Next, let's type using namespace. standard and let's go inside of our main here and let me just put return zero here just to have it there and all right so to begin uh, our structure here to to, to tell the the compiler this is a structure we type by we start by typing the keyword struct and then the name of it so I'm going to let's have an example of a student here so I'm going to call the student type and brackets, open brackets, closing brackets, and then a semicolon there. So inside the structure here of a student type, we're going to have uh, basically things that are um, related to with the student. So I'm going to have first name and also last name. So string, they're going to have a data type of string, last name, and also first name. And then I'm going to have here, um, let me have a char of a letter grade. And let me have an integer of a test score that the student might have received. And also, let's have his GPA. So let's have a double or float here. I'm going to have a double and call it GPA. All right. So this is our example of a structure. So let's go ahead and explain in more detail here. Beside, we started by including the libraries we need here. We also included the string library in this tutorial. Then inside of our main here, the keyword here, struct, tells the compiler this will be a structure. A structure is just basically um, kind of like uh, so it's basically uh, a way to hold uh, to to group um, data of, of of different data types together, basically that are uh, relative to something. So our our structure here is basically a student. So we're gonna have data inside the structure related to a student. So that could be his first name, his last name his letter grade, his test score, his GPA, his ID number and so on. But for this tutorial we just included some some of them. So um, so basically the structure is basically holding uh, holding um, related data of, of different data types in together. So this is how basically we so here this is how we create the struct in C++. So thank you for watching the tutorial guys. In, in the next tutorial I know it was a so let's go ahead and build it anyway, just to make sure we don't have any errors. But you won't, there won't, be, there won't be anything outputted, so you won't, you won't see anything. So if you go ahead and start it without debugging, you shouldn't see anything. But in the next tutorial, you will, you will see that we will go ahead and do some, some things with the, with the struct here, and basically uh, use some of these variables, or basically how to use these variables that we have inside of our struct, and how to take uh, advantage of that. So thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Stick around for our 45th tutorial. And uh, that's where you will see uh, how to basically use the shock and 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 how useful shocks are in C++. So thank you for watching, guys. Stick around for more tutorials, guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And rate the videos, guys. Please and leave comments and so on. That gives me a lot of feedback. In you know in in the sense that uh, I know if you guys do like the tutorials or not. So. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to leave comments and rate the videos and stick around for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.